and actually pick um, the three points. And I'm sure that uh, Maroons will definitely be determined to change that. 4 p.m. and we are underway right here at the Luzida Prisons Grounds. It's Maroons Football Club in the maroon and yellow sash with black. With all the advancements that they are making, they and Vipers are some of the few teams in the Star Times Ghana Premier League that do conform to the CAF standards and have a female team. The shot comes in here pretty feeble in the end and picked up by Fabian. Maroons have the she Maroons. Yeah, that's a very good... Um, you know, realization of um, the need uh, to promote women's football as well. And um, it's good to see that um, they are doing that and they have done it for a couple of years already. Because um, I think that is one thing that is becoming uh, the in thing in world sport. Yeah. I don't know whether the two teams, uh, the way they've started, they look tired. Especially if you're to consider the intensity now. Just look at that poor pass again from Baiga. Given away opportunity there that could have come to count for vipers the execution in the end not that good from brighton nukani scored a brace in the game against chitara at home they will probably be primed to keep hunting for more yeah i'm sure he's uh, coming to this game with uh, a lot of confidence and he must be buoyed by um, the brace that he scored and uh, if he's uh, to actually continue in that wave of form i'm sure that um, his coach uh, would be more glad than anybody else. And Nukani with the free kick, with the corner. Header is right, but not ripe from Eric Kambale. Easily cleared away. Forward. Bapta Paul now picked up here by Sentamu. Tried to keep it in play. Looked like it crossed the line. Yeah. And that should be a throw in in favor of Maroons Football Club. That's true. The ball had crossed the line, and I'm, I'm sure he had also realized it. So he didn't even complain much when the whistle went. Throw in for the prison wardens. Played back to the goalkeeper, Huntington, taking their time. I think by now, with uh, almost 20 minutes played, the intensity should have uh, gone up already. But you don't see that from either side. Barely feel the impact here. It's now inside it off here for Yunus Junior Sentamu. Tries to whip it in in acres of space, Kambale. Well, that is Kamikaze defending here. Coming in from uh, these teams. Especially from uh, Maroons Football Club in that instance. But Vipers should have done better. Another floated ball. Anukani with a shot. And well saved. By Huntington Sabalunyo. Well, I think that should be a wake-up call uh, for this Maroon side because the way they've started the game, and you don't think that that's the way a team that uh, is dying and very hungry to ensure that they get their first win over Vipers in a long time would be starting a game. You expect them to start games better, and you can see the kind of opportunity that they had um, given away to this uh, Viper side. Good technique shown there by Anukani, but equally so, you must say that the goalkeeper has uh, done a pretty good job. We're now looking to spread forward here. To uh, Walusim be there. But the ball is cleared away. Miscued by uh, Murondo. And instead gives away a corner kick. Field. The kind of um, agency is not the, the one that um, suggests that these are teams that are badly need of a win. Well, that could change in just a bit with a straight shot. And that will count. Fabian Mutobora has just been outclassed. Darius Ojok celebrates, but Solomon to Sumida. With a howitzer of a shot that was out of nowhere, and my oh my, Solomon Walusimbi, with a blockbuster of a shot, there might be need to relook at that play. Just have another look at the replay there. But my oh my, what a way for Maroons to take. Anukani whips it in. Well, seems to elude everybody. And a chance here, finally falling to Ihabwe David. And now on the front foot here, trying to get forward. This is the goal scorer, Amaku. Glasses up to look for options. Could have kept the ball recycling, and that would have put pressure on uh, Maroons. Referee Shamira Navada brings a close to the first half, and it's going to go to the favor of the home team, the Hammer. Well, I think that we should uh, see a reaction from uh, Vipers. The fact that they are falling behind and the first half left a lot to be desired on their part. They need to up the ante, like you said, and we hope that we can have a really good uh, game of football where Vipers try to fight back and get back into the game. Approach to the game that they have uh, exhibited today. 
yeah you could see where Walusi Mbiwazi was just watching as well and then you look at that midfield and you don't see bodies going forward yet these are opportunities that they can pounce on they have way popping it into space here for Tusubida Kakensa what can he come up with turning inside out and the eventually the delivery well leaves a lot to be desired had a good idea had literally beaten Rogers to Raj there but the delivery in the end nothing savory about it yeah he had beaten uh, to Raj quite well and I thought he should have continued with the run using his right foot as opposed to using the weaker foot because the reason why that ball went out the way it did was because he used the, the weaker foot. Sentamo tries to place it there for Kambale. Maroons managed to acquit themselves well enough. But, uh, seem to be quite timid with their approach. Exemplified by that uh, nudge out there for a throw in. You know Sentamo takes the throw. Matov wanted to take it. It looks like Sentamu asking him to let it go, so Sentamu takes the throw in. Roger Storach. Kaki gets the ball forward here, looking for Abdul Karim Watambala. Watambala plays it to the wing. Chance for a cross here from Matovu. It's actually from uh, Mandela Ashraf. They are looking to pop it in. Milton Karisa fashions out space! Casual that they were in the defense, and Milton Carissa could do no wrong from that kind of distance. The damage was done the minute they let him turn, and he was all alone, one on one with Sabalunyo. It would take nothing short of a miracle to defy Carissa. Vipers won, Maroons won. Well, that was a very poor goal to give uh, on the side of uh, Maroons, and I'm sure when they go back and watch this video, they'll realize that. Um, yeah, Another cross there in quick succession, and this time Sebalunyo manages to pick that one up. That was lethargical defending. You talked about this having a feel of a friendly. That kind of defending had every hallmark of a friendly in the preseason. Generally, in this game, you can see that even now uh, what is happening at that taking area of uh, Maroons, they're not impressed by number players and the way they are applying themselves. Player brought down, free kick. The referee will reach into her pocket. If only he had it on target, then you think that it would have been very difficult for Huntington Sebalunio to keep that out. Foul here, free kick. Noel Nasasida brought down by Paul Bowa. First contribution of the game. That's a yellow card brandished at Paul Patrick Mboa. And I'm sure that uh, right now the Bull fans must be biting their lower lip uh, to a point that it could uh, easily be severed. Oh, here comes Famado, tries to chip it in, and Carissa coasting in, but the offside flag will say no goal. He thought he had gotten the beating of that defense. The assistant referee was in the right spot watching on. We'll have to count. Sizable additional time here. Now look at this. Ooh, and that will be a booking. Abdul Karim Watambala sliding in recklessly. And the referee hesitates not to brandish a yellow card. Noel Nasasira is definitely still feeling the effects of that sliding. Yeah, you can see that it was uh, kind of late. Look at that, that. He got the ball, but also got the man, Karim Watambala. Uh, I don't think that um, anything else beyond the yellow card. That was a very good uh, ploy there set up by uh, Maroons as they try to open up and uh, go on the big break and create an opportunity because you think if no one had that run clear, that would have been a very good opportunity for Maroons to get a, a second goal, possibly a winner. Well, Leonardo Neva makes another change to his pack and it's Alan Okello that will come in to take the place of... Uh, the man in Abdul Karim Watambala. We also do see Salem Ekbad Mohammed, shot seven, standing by on the touchline. And looks like he will occupy the spot that is currently held down by Paul Patrick Boa. In that instance of Bekala Wal gets a bit of the tactical planning there. Uh, looking to throw bodies forward. It looks like it's going to be a 3 1 2 4 formation up front. Yeah, I think it's uh, all out attack. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, that's the risk that you take when you coach like uh, Leonardo Neva. Why you keep Mboa there if you're not being attacked as much? So what happens is that Abdeka Lawal is now going to drop into that holding midfield role and then allow players like uh, 
Alan Okello and Ekbad, I'm, I'm sure that he's going to go with the 4-4-2 now because um, what will happen is that Ekbad is going to join um, Formado in the attack. Well, Alan Okello just uh, plays behind them as uh, we see Abubek Alawao play the holding midfield role. So with just six minutes to go, four minutes to go, I think it's a risk that is worth taking. Looks like there'll be another substitution as well here for the prison wardens after this free kick. We see them getting uh, warmed up here. It's Baden Mujahid Ogama set to come on, but Kihawe set to take a free kick. Oh, it's taken quickly. Fabian fumbles and it's cleared away by Mulondo. Good strike that was. Oh, yes, he was traveling there, I can tell you. Very good um, hit there coming in from uh, Maroons uh, to test the Vipers goalkeeper moment vipers now will look to get themselves to the front foot rombi picking the ball from the foot of salem ekbad who now right, gets and that's all it turned out to be only good enough for a share of the spoils full time at the luzira prisons grounds it's maroons football club one vipers sports club one